I definitely have struggled to be myself at some point in my career. Life has not been easy for a Chinese woman. Since 1991, there has been 110,000 Chinese children that have been adopted globally, and 90% of those children are girls. So how could I not feel this immense pressure and responsibility to really break the glass ceiling. In previous organizations and companies that I'd worked for, I'd mainly been in the closet. It was more just conforming with the workplace, how I dress, my hair, right, how I talk. There are times in which I feel like I might need to tone down how loud I might be or how I might be perceived. The only way to make true, authentic connections with people is to be who you are, and through that, it makes people comfortable to be their true selves as well. Every person within the ServiceNow community and around the world deserves to truly belong. I am so glad that we have created a culture where you don't have to leave your identity at the front door when you come to work. To be truly human and to bring your whole self to work is about creating belonging which is one of our core values here at ServiceNow. I was diagnosed with stage four cancer in my 20s, huge shock. And the person that really got me through it and supported me through it was my wife. And I remember joining ServiceNow and kind of having this conversation with myself where I was like, hey, if I can be cancer, be in remission, and be so grateful to this amazing person by my side, to now go into a new job and keep her hidden, then I'm kind of, betraying everything that we just went through. ServiceNow is the first space that I've been in in my career where I feel like there truly is a room to share my true authentic experiences because the very parts of my identity are what add value to a lot of the work that I've been able to do. I bring my whole self to work by bringing my sense of humor, my hobbies, there isn't a whole lot of difference between the Tony outside of work and the Tony inside of work. I'm able to be my true self at ServiceNow, which I really appreciate, but I want to acknowledge that I have less barriers to do so due to my gender and race, and I know not everyone has that opportunity, and that's a reason why I take being an ally very seriously. If I know that my colleagues and I can be honest with each other and open, and I'm not double-checking everything that I'm saying or feeling any shame, then that leaves 100% of my brain power to be focused on the work that I'm doing. Call it reclaiming my voice and being able to vocalize how I was feeling without the fear of feeling like I would be limiting my career opportunities. While we've made a lot of progress already, we recognize there is still a lot of work to do and we're not gonna take our foot off the pedal. We will continue to holistically measure the opportunities that lie ahead, and we will be transparent and intentional about where we need to focus. 